my darlings, and welcome back to my dream home, the farmhouse. This is the final week with this particular dream home, and I'm not ready to say goodbye just yet. I'm really not, but it's nearly done. We have just got a few things to finish up in the next couple of days. Last time, what we did was the living room area, the hallway, and also my home office as well. And you may have noticed I've made a couple of extra household members in sim form to come and join me in my dream house. Today, what we're going to do is go into the main bedroom itself and also the main bathroom upstairs as well. Got a few reference images, but I'll show you them once we actually get into game. So without further ado, let's fly on over and make a bloody start. And so here we are, my loves, back with the dream home for the last time this week. Well tomorrow the last week you know where i was going with it but i just love how this came together i really really do i'm very happy with it i cannot wait to play in it a lot more we've got tom and daisy down here having a little bit of a play i even put daisy's little spots on her ears look behind her ears ah oh, it's very cute indeed and there you go love boyfriend reveal in sim form marvelous marvelous stuff very handsome it does look quite like him i must say um, very, very talented at making some sims. I really am. But this is what we're doing today. You can see I've already put up some wallpapers and I've also put up some curtains as well in the main bedroom. And this is going to be the bathroom in here. I have a feeling I might change the aesthetic of the walls in here. I think what I want to do is go for this in the bathroom instead with the tiles on the floor. But with that being said, I think I'm just going to quickly change out the colour of these. Just before we move on, I'd probably want to go a little bit more sandy toned with the tiles. Yes, there we go. And we'll continue on with that in a little bit. That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are indeed. So as, you, as I said, we did this last time. I went back into the living room and put beams across because I, re I love the beams on the ceilings. Um, and I forgot to do it in the last part. But you never have to worry with this. If, you're, if you play with cutout, it normally gets rid of the beams anyway. So you can see like below it and stuff so that's always good for gameplay yes it does indeed we did my office and i'm in here making some videos i would imagine oh god this would be the dream it really would um and i also downloaded that influencer pack that you guys told me to from a creator called simkus i think that's how you pronounce it i hope it is um and i've put that there as well just fits it in marvelously it really bloody does uh, and we also did the utility area. Oh, did we do that last time? No, we didn't at all. Sorry, I'm getting confused. We did the bathroom down here. This one's a little bit more classic. I am going to go classic upstairs, but I've got a nice reference image. That would just be my perfect kind of looking bathroom. We'll get into that a little bit further on. So without further ado, let's make a start on the main bedroom. So first things first, what I want to do is get in a fireplace in this room. And I am going to copy up this fireplace here, but I'm going to size it down because it's just, it's a little bit large for the bedroom, I would imagine. So I'm going to just tuck it in as far as I can into the wall there because I do want to get two wardrobes side by side here, I think. Um, I really do. The lighting in here is a bit off. We will change out that spotlight once we get to it. We're using uh, Pierre Sims Combles. I love this pattern on the wall with these panels i just think it looks really lovely it's a little bit more georgian rather than farmhouse i'm going to go for little aspects of each in here but i do want it to be very neutral and very light that's how i would want my bedroom lots of natural light and lighter kind of timber frames in my um farmhouse anyway uh, shall i spoil it what we're going on to next yeah i'm going to we're going to do my dream home. It's going to be called the Victorian. I love a Victorian villa. I'll flop up a reference image of a Victorian villa. Um, so that is what we're going to be building next for the like the dream home series. I cannot wait. We're going to get started on that in the next few weeks. I would imagine we're going to continue on with Let's Build the Worlds next week. We are in Henford on Bagley and I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd put that in there. What was I waffling on about? No idea. I think what we need to do is maybe get a bed in here first. And I have, I've, I don't, I've got, I'm toying between two beds. I love a four poster. I really, really do. But I don't know whether to go a little bit more classic in here with the bed and have it a bit more this shape. So it kind of fits in with the Georgian sort of aspect or bring in this amazing four poster bed here. 
uh, from um, Harry that I just love. This is probably one of the best CC beds I've ever seen in my life, to be honest with you. Um, I do love this. Obviously, I would change the colour of the wood in here because we're going for a little bit more of a neutral tone like that. But I don't know what one to pick. Let's. I'm going to have a little goosey gander through and see which one I want to go for. I'm going to go for this one here. I'm going to go for this one from Felix and this is part of his Florence collection. I do love this. I just think it fits in with the theme of this bedroom a little bit better. And I am going to also go for his, his bedding as well. I just looked to see if I was recording then because I could just imagine I'm waffling on and not recording. I love that bedding there. But I also really like the one with the embroiders on it. I might even go for this one in this room just for a little bit of a decoration. And I would keep this as light as possible. I love a light bit of bedding. That's the ticket right there. It really is. And I do want it over this far because I don't want it too near this fireplace. Plus, I want to get in some bedside tables here. I've already got in my head the bedside tables I would love in this room. I'm just hoping it's going to work. And it's going to be this one here uh, from Pierre Sim. If I can get one in on this side. Yes, that's perfect. Oh, that's matching in with that paneling. Lovely. Yes. And then the same over on this side here, going for that lighter tone. Dropping it in over there as well. Also, I'm better, by the way. I am cured. Touch wood, it doesn't come back again. I can't find any wood. Oh, there's some. <laughs> oh. Honestly. How? Ten minutes in. Ten minutes in and already filth. As far as I'm concerned. And, um, okay, we're well, moving on quickly. I'm going to find a light. I, I do want to do a little bit more of a different lamp up here. I might go for a bit more of like a clay pot kind of looking lamp. I do love these. I have a feeling this might be a little bit too large for in here. Maybe not. Maybe like bringing these in a green as well so we can get a bit of that green coming through in here. Uh, it needs to be a bit lighter actually. Oh, oh, I do like that. It's not going to go with the curtains, but I think we can get away with it. Yeah, I'm going to bring up some of that uh, William Morris print up to here as well. So let's get one there and one there. I'm just wondering if they're a little bit too bulky for in here. What about if I size them down? Would that help? Oh, that does help a little bit. Yes. I think I'm going to do that instead then. Oh, I do like it. Yes, indeed. Very much so. And I think what I would do is I'd have some kind of ottoman at the end of the bed here. Maybe like even a chest. <gasps> do you know what I could use? This coffee table at the bottom of this bed. But I'd probably size it down just a little bit. Yeah, I do like that. And then pop that at the um, edge of the bed. And that's where we can keep our bedding and stuff then. Our bed IRL, we've like got drawers on the inside. So I can just put my bed in, in there. But this is a different house, a dream house, you know. Yeah, I like that. I do. And I would love some kind of like textured rug underneath of the bed as well. Don't know whether I'm going to use that same one as I've been using to death. But I mean, it would look marvellous up here. Of course, I'm going to use it. Silly bum question. I did warn you. I pre-warned you many times I would be using that one to death. I really would. And I'd definitely go a little bit more neutral with this. Maybe even a little bit like that kind of tone as well. Oh, I do like that. Yes, that's the one. But I would also love a sheepskin up here as well. So I think I'm going to add a little sheepskin rug in here. Like maybe just at the end here. Yeah, I'm going to pull this one in, but I am going to size it up just a little bit. 1.2. I always find the scaling of this just a little bit off with that rug. Um, And I'm going to flop you underneath of it like this. So it kind of looks like it's been tucked under the ottoman, I think. Let me see that. Yeah, I do like that. I must admit, I do indeed. And I'm thinking like a lovely picture up here. I would love to get a mirror in somewhere. And I think this is probably going to be the spot I would put a mirror. But also, I would love to have two wardrobes and a chest of drawers. But with The Sims, I just don't know if it's going to be... I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it in. We'll try anyway. We'll give it a go. Now, my favourite wardrobes uh, have got to be the country wardrobes from Harry, which are these ones here. I love these. That's the perfect tone as well. Oh, I'm going to try and squeeze two in. I don't know if we're going to, this is going to allow it. That's as far as I can take that one realistically. But I just don't know if this is going to fit now. It's too small. Oh, well. What about if I join them together? Would that 
be too much of a glitch. I mean, let me see if this is going to be glitching out too much. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? Oh, that does fit in quite nicely there. I mean, they look completely different colours because of the lighting, but... Oh, that's perfect. Yes. Yes, I'm into that. I must admit, I'm very much into that. And being like an English farmhouse as well, of this kind of... The, the bedrooms are never huge. They, they would have usually been out working on the farmland themselves. These would have been a place to come and crash, you know? Um, So... I'm not going to be able to like squeeze a chair or anything in here, which is what I would have loved near the fireplace. Never mind. I'm not too worried about that. It's absolutely fine. We're going to move on. So as I said, I do want to maybe try and get in. I would love this. This would just be perfect, but it's just too big for this room. I wonder if I could just size that down with the tool mod, what that would look like. It means I probably won't be able to put anything on top of it. I mean, I could, but it'd be very annoying. Well, but if I did a 0 0.9, just to sort of see the scaling, that would be perfect. I love this as well. And this kind of matches in beautifully with the wardrobes. I am going to use it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to pull it in as far as I can with the curtains in the way. And that still gives you enough space to open the wardrobe and stuff there. Yeah, I'm into that. Very much into that. And as I said, a mirror. Now, I would probably want to go for the organic mirror in here, like the the leaning one oh, I do like that yeah okay I was going to try something different but no this is the ticket right there yep that's the ticket <laughs> she's the girl I'm going to be moving on oh I do like it indeed now I would have a bunch of flowers here but as I said this is going to be very annoying to try and get it on here without it floating you know like this I mean I could move it down with the tool mod I think what I'm going to do is get that shelf out instead and put some flowers up there. So the red shelf seems to be at the perfect height. So I'm going to pop you there. But I would also love some kind of candle and maybe some kind of perfume on top of my dresser as well. Okay, I found a candle and I found this here. This is from uh, Charlie Pancakes and it's the skincare collection. So I'm just going to use that in here instead. I couldn't find any kind of like nice looking sort of perfume. And pieces. I've probably got some somewhere, but I couldn't find them. So they're not, I'm, I'm, I'm not using them. Not at all. And then we just slide this right in and put this up against the uh, curtain there, like that. Oh, beautiful. Those flowers are amazing. They're part of Felix's uh, chateau collection. I do love them very much so. This is looking all as I would want it. But what I would probably have is a picture up above this fireplace here. And also maybe another picture over here. So let's find some lovely, lovely paintings. And being from Devon and Cornwall myself, I do think some kind of nautical vibe in here would look really nice. But I wouldn't mind going for a bit more of a plainer frame in here, I think. Oh, yes. Something like this. Right in there like that. Oh, that's lovely. And then going ahead and putting in another kind of... Oh, is that cliff tops? Oh, yeah. And then putting in another one over on this side here. Very simple bedroom, but that's all, that, this is exactly what I would want. I really bloody would. Yeah, perfect. But I think to finish off, obviously, we need to get a new light source in here. So a nice pendulous light or even like a softer kind of like um, a paper looking one. I love these ones here from um, Pierre Sim. Just a little bit too big in here, but again... We've got the beauty of being able to size stuff down. So I think I would have this one in here. Let's have a little look at you. I'm going to keep that source though because it gives it a nice bit of light. Yes. Yes, I think that would work really nicely. Oh, that's marvellous. I mean, it's very simple, but oh, the vibes coming through is enough for me. The only thing that's really doing my nutting is the fact that that's glitching there. So I am just going to scale this down slightly to a 0.997. And then it just gets rid of that glitch then, you know? And it doesn't size it down too much. To make it look very noticeable. Oh, that's perfect. So it's just very simple. Very simple bedroom, very neutral, but I love it. It's very classy. Um, I'd love to wake up in there. And that is just, that that is the, the selling point, isn't it, to be honest with you? The outcome, if you will. So we're going to move on now to the bathroom. So, 
Oh, a bathroom and me furnishing it on camera. What is going on here? But there's no particular bathroom. It is my dream home bathroom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Yes, we are, dude. I'm going to flop up a little reference image or a bit of inspiration. I love like a copper bath. I do. And I know how expensive they are and how much of an hassle they would be to clean. But I just love the look of them. Now, we don't really have, not from what I've been able to find anyway, like a full copper bath. We do have this one here, which is from Harry's Heritage Collection. And it is kind of enameled itself, but it does have that copper on the outside. So I think we're going to go down the route of using this one in here. Um, and that's what I want to do. I do want to do that. So I don't know what... Oh, I do want my bath underneath the window. I would love my bath around there, to be honest with you. Um, it makes me want to move this window down, but I'm not going to do that. It's just very high. Well, let me see what it would look like from the outside if I moved the window down. Would it look strange? Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look together. I mean, if I just do this, just to hide the top, I think it would work okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to do it so I can have that moment when you're in the bath and you can actually look out and see the sky and stuff a little bit better. There we go. Bloody done. Absolutely thriving with that one, my loves. Um, I would like to make this a little bit of a wet room as well. So I think what I want to do, I want to use that old shower that I used downstairs because I love how far it comes out. Yeah, this one. Um, and we're going to go for... I keep hearing sounds in here. I don't know if anybody heard that then. But I just keep hearing sounds in my office and no one's home. <laughs> Help me. Um, I think what I'm going to do is put it over to this side. I think that would be a good... But then... Oh no, I want to put a plant there. I definitely want a plant in this room. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll plop the shower here. And then use this or even the bigger one in this room because i could pop that then have that whole area as a bit of a shower moment that could be a vibe do i want to go a bit more gold with that as well god i think i do yes yeah i'm gonna do that and then this would be the perfect place over here to have a towel rail and i love this one here we'll use it obviously in a bit more of a lighter wood this one here from the jeu, uh, from the bathroom collection by Felix and Harry. I nearly said Jardine, then it's not that, is it? For goodness sake. And then maybe some shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. Not two in one. I'm sorry, I'm gay. We we do not do that. Maybe some lotions and potions. Mm, you're not going to work out well there. We'll pop you down to there. There's my shampoo and conditioner. Um, we need some. Uh, I don't really want to use this S-Up, whatever it's called, because I've tried it before and I thought it was just overpriced shite, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> it, it just wasn't for me. So instead, I use these here. Liquid soap. Let's put those in. Let's pop two of those in. One each. Tom can have his four-in-one shampoo, um, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste. Um, <laughs> he can have that to himself. Yeah, no, I like that. I do. And because we've gone classic up here, I do want to bring up this toilet. And I think the perfect place for the toilet would be. It would be here, but I really wanted to get a plant in on this side. I mean, I still... Uh, I don't know if I could. Do you know what? I do want to put the toilet over there. And then we can do a double sink here. Now, with the sinks themselves, I don't know what kind of vibe I want to go for. I don't know whether I want to go like classic like this, which does look nice. It's only got one sink though. Or go for something a little bit semi-contemporary. Let me pull out a few bits and bobs. This one. This coastal vanity from um, Harry. And then these sinks, the matching coastal sinks with the gold taps. I think would look marvellous in here. Oh, it does. It very much does indeed. Yeah, I'm into that. I am. I'm very much into that. Yes. I don't know what kind of vibe I want to go for for the mirror. I think we'd probably need to go for something a bit like this. And, oh, that does look nice. And I know that this does come in a gold as well. So I'm thinking. Let me see this. Oh, yes. Yes. And then there's storage here as well. So we've got storage in the drawers. Now I do like that. Oh, yes. And then that's given us enough space here put in a lovely plant i wouldn't mind getting another um ficus tree up here 
Like, oh, what's this? Oh, ficus for lounge table. Oh, man, like, imagine a tree in your uh, bathroom. I'd be absolutely for it, to be honest with you. Is that going to, like, sneak in a bit too far into places, though? I think it will, and I've sized it down. Yeah, that's a little bit too big for in here. I think that was wishful thinking, to be honest with you. I do love this here, though. I love this one. I have used it downstairs, but I think it would work really well in this bathroom. Oh, and it does look. That's the ticket. That's the tickety-boo. It very much is indeed. And uh, blinds, again, it's going to be difficult to put blinds in here. So I think I might just copy. Oh, no, I'm not going to like them in here. I think what I'm going to have to do is go for some in-game ones. And I'm going to I'm gonna use... I know this is shocking, but I'm going to use the ones from here, I think. And I'm going to size it down. Because I just... I do like these blinds. I really do. Uh, let me pull it up a bit higher. Just so it looks like we can look out that window a little bit more. Yes, that's the ticket right there. And I would go for something similar um, that we did in the hallway. With that kind of like duty looking rug up here. I know there's a smaller version of it here. Oh yes. And flop you to then. I love this colour as well. It's going to match in very nicely. Oh it does look. Oh how wonderful. And then we obviously need some toilet roll. And while we're here I'll do something. Because I know there's been a few people shitting themselves in the comments. That we didn't put toilet roll in the Airbnb. Would you, you'd put that on my um, review thing, wouldn't you? They didn't have any toilet roll. I had to wipe my bum with a badger. I had to go out into the woods, find a badger and wipe my bum with it. <laughs> I don't know why a badger came to my head then. I have no idea, but there you go. You happy now? You got your toilet roll? Bloody hell, leave me a five star review. Thank you. Or I'll report you. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm happy with everything. I think it looks marvellous very much into this bathroom actually i'm gonna keep that spotlight in here as well no actually no i'm not lied i'm gonna use these same lights in here as well um i also need to mention be careful when lighting that incense down here when you get this build because i lit that incense and it set this light on fire i was like what what why would why would that happen in what world would it set a metal light on fire that's like seven feet above it you know for goodness sake but you know sims can i make that a bit more gold no that's as gold as i can make it that's fine there we go lovely okay well there we are my darlings a quick one today tomorrow what we're going to do is all of this here so We've got two guest bedrooms and we're also going to do the top hallway as well, which I want to put some seating and stuff out on and maybe a nice little um, table up here with some flowers and stuff on it. You can see I've put radiators everywhere as well. And then I want to do a guest bedroom with a double bed and then a guest bedroom with two single beds. If I have my like nieces and nephews over or friends come in to stay, that's what I would want for um, that. But yeah, we're done for today. Oh, I'm quite sad that this is going to be over soon, but... I've had a marvellous time either way. Really have. So, as I said, I will be back with all of that tomorrow. Leave me some lovely comments down below. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.